Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon waterfall tank and a few days ago I shot a video about a few guppies having died in this tank and I got a lot of comments from people saying that the supplement I used uh, boosts the CO2 in the tank and I think what I did was I think I made a mistake in naming the product I used. What I used was this Seachem Flourish and it's just a trace mineral supplement. It is not the Seachem Excel, which is a product that is designed for planted tanks to boost the amount of CO2, uh, or it's, it's referred to as a liquid carbon. I can't remember what the actual chemical name is. I want to say it's glutaraldehyde uh, or something like that, but it's designed to add carbon to your water. So if you've got an uninjected, uh, you know, a basic simple tank like mine, you can add this sort of liquid carbon and the idea is that it will boost the amount of carbon available to your plants. It can also be used, according to a lot of people, to control algae if you overdose it just right in the proper way and all that kind of stuff. And years and years ago, when I first got into the hobby, I bought a gallon jug of the stuff because I was going to not only boost my CO2 for my plants, but I was going to control all that algae and so on and so forth. And I quickly learned that it's a bunch of nonsense. It might work in some cases or whatever, but the risk you're putting uh, your fish under by double dosing the stuff and so on and so forth, just in an attempt to control algae, uh, is really kind of silly to me. And so long ago, I just kind of wrote that stuff off as, you know, a product that I wasn't ever going to use. And I was going to show it to everybody because I had a gallon jug of it, but I cannot for the life of me find it. So at some point, it probably just got thrown away. Again, it's just been sitting on the shelf for years uh, without me using it. So when I talked about this video, or when I talked about this tank in the last video, I talked about um, dosing it with this as a trace mineral, you know, trace nutrients. And I think what I was doing was I was confusing the name Flourish with the pro with the brand name of Seachem. And what I was saying was Flourish Excel rather than saying Seachem Flourish. And Seachem is the company that makes the Excel product that I was talking about, uh, which is the glutaraldehyde or whatever it is, the liquid carbon. And so I think what I was saying was Flourish Excel rather than Seachem Flourish, and that's where the confusion came in. So I just want to reiterate that I did not put the Excel in this tank. I put this Flourish, trace uh, minerals, trace nutrients and whatnot, and I did indeed uh, super overdose whammy doodle dump it in there like four times the amount that was supposed to go in there. But by nature of what this is, it's just trace minerals. I did not put anything in there that boosted the carbon. I didn't put anything in there that offset the oxygen. Uh, it was nothing like that. So if this product here, this Flourish, is what did my fish in, it would have been through mineral salts and dissolved solids in the water. It would have affected the fish's osmoregulation uh, and that sort of thing. It would not have blocked out the oxygen and it would not have developed any level of toxicity. It would have simply been an osmoregulation thing. And as I said in the other videos, guppies tend to like hard water. So adding minerals to the tank is probably not what did those guppies in. If anything, that would have helped the guppies. So I think it was just a coincidence. Guppies die all the time. It's very common, especially when you um, buy them at the big chain pet stores. You don't know what kind of quality you're getting. You don't know how old the guppies are when you buy them. Uh, and guppies are not exactly known for being long-lived fish anyway. So it just seemed coincidental that I found a string of dead guppies over a period of a few days. And I, the only thing I had done different was add this. And again, I think in that video I was calling it the wrong product and that caused some confusion. So there you go everybody. Brief little update on my waterfall tank and an explanation of the products I'm using. So thanks for watching this one. Don't forget it is my waterfall tank and I will see you real soon on the next one.